Today we're going to look at how to subtract mixed numbers when we need to regroup. So our example here, we have 5 and 2 fourths minus 3 and 3 fourths. So I'm going to first draw our shape model for 2 fourths. And shade in 2. Now if I look at my model, 2 fourths, can I take 3 fourths away? I could take one, two, but I do not have another one, so I can't take three-fourths away. Two-fourths is less than three-fourths. So this means I'm going to have to regroup. So in order to do that, I need to go next door to the ones place and take a one away. If I take one away, then that means I now have four, and I'm going to take one. So now if I really look at this, I would have 1 and 2 fourths. But I can't subtract 1 and 2 fourths. I need to convert this into an improper fraction in order to make it easier to take 3 fourths away. So that means I'm going to draw 1. So I need to decompose that into a fraction. So 1 equals how many fourths? This is something we're struggling with, so let's see. How many fourths equals one whole? So I have it in four, so let's see if I shade in the entire thing. I have one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. So one equals four fourths. So now I have two fourths plus four fourths my new fraction is going to be 6 fourths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let's review what I just did. I needed to go next door and regroup, so I crossed off the 5 and I took 1 away. But I needed to decompose the 1 into and represent it as a fraction. And I represented it as 4 fourths. And I already had 2 fourths, so I needed to add those together. 2 fourths plus 4 fourths. And that's when I had 6 fourths. So I don't have 2 fourths anymore. This is now 6 fourths, and I'm taking 3 fourths away. So 6 fourths minus 3 fourths. 1, 2, 3. Now I have 1, 2, 3 fourths left. And then I can go to my ones place and do 4 minus 3, which is 1. So I want to look closer at what we did when we decomposed. So to begin with, I had 2 fourths. So if we look at that, we have 2 fourths here. And again, I cannot take 3 fourths away. So I needed to decompose the 1. So that means I have a 1, and I'm bringing this over. But these aren't the same thing. So what I'm going to do is actually convert this 1 into the fraction. So instead of 1, what is equivalent to 1? I have 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, 4 fourths. So now that we have these fraction bars, we can see how many fourths that we have to connect it to our improper fraction up here and to our model. One fourth plus 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 one fourth equals six fourths. One, two, three, four, five, six fourths. And then I can see that now that I have six fourths, I can take away three fourths. One, two, three. That leaves me with three fourths. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you were able to step by step complete your problem while I was completing mine. If not, you can go back to the beginning and re-listen and pause after each step to apply it to your own problem.